Damn. I got all kinds of old magazines, a desk. This is stuff that I'm gonna try to sell soon, maybe flea market or online. I got Tupperwares and milk glass and uh, all kinds of slot car stuff. That's what y'all are really here for are the slot cars. This is a little bit newer model, but still probably about 20 years old. Got all more Tupperware, some of the kitchen stuff. I got old Tonka toys and rockets. But here is uh, what's really probably our first interest here is the giant stockpile of slot cars. I've got multiple scales from HO to full size competition slots. That's what all these toolboxes over here are. Uh, so we've got a lot, of, a lot of tinkering ahead of us. There's all kinds of model railroad stuff. Got a turntable down here. Just tracks on tracks on tracks. There's all kinds of rocket, model rocket stuff. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a hoard. So that's my plan is to uh, try to get some of this junk cleaned out, sweep the floor, get a table set up here so we can uh, get some of these toys out and get them played again. And then uh, invite friends over and let them enjoy the experience with me. Found a box of car bodies I wanted to show y'all. A lot of them are new, future projects. Pretty detailed. I think I'm about done for the day. I went through a couple more boxes of um, old records and stuff like uh, as far as his taxes and all that stuff but um there's nothing no slot cars have no in there but uh cleaned out all this space over here we got the kit got the full track kit with uh, a box of tools And then all the cars down below. Had to get these puppies back on the track. Well, until next time, peace. A few days later, my friend Brandon came over and we made a lot more progress. Eventually, we gave up on cleaning and started opening up boxes. We put together a track, first going through all of the pieces and figuring out which ones were broken, sorting out the pieces we needed, and found a power box and got the track going. And it didn't take long for us to uh, start tinkering with the cars and trying different ones out. Make little modifications to the track, keep doing some laps, and 
just tinkering and playing, having fun. <laughs> After a little while, we were getting pretty good at running them. But eventually everything grows old, so we stop for the day. Brandon doing stunts for Smokey and the Bandit 14. <laughs> 